Francis of the Roman Catholic Church and Vatican in Rome, Italy, has been repeatedly exposed as a false teacher for his numerous heresies, including teaching that Jesus' crucifixion was a failure, atheists can still go to heaven, and that to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ outside of the Roman Catholic whorehouse is dangerous all of which comprise of some of the most anti-Christian statements ever made. His false teachings have been so great that many Catholic leaders even consider him to be an anti-Pope and have called on him to resign. In 2017 Francis with his insurmountable ego arrogantly attempted to change the Lord's Prayer, the very words of Christ from leaders not into temptation to do not let us fall into temptation or as recently appeared on Fox News in 2019 abandon us not when in temptation so let's go over some of these false and heretical statements now The prayer itself asks God not to bring us into trial, trial being the Greek translation. The truth of the matter is God does this all the time, as Jesus was well aware. Nevertheless, that is what Jesus was praying for in the Lord's Prayer. So it should not be changed, because an imbecilic Pope and his ungodly paedophile bum chums are so lost that they haven't a clue what Jesus was talking about. That's their problem not the Bibles. And no, it won't be changed. What I find quite interesting is that Jesus was no longer tempted from there on. He had already been through his biggest temptation during his 40 days and 40 nights fast in the wilderness, which was perhaps why he included this verse in the Lord's Prayer. Unlike the Pope, and all his other unsaved bishops and cardinals, this is something I can certainly relate to, and I understand why Jesus said it, which I'll go over shortly. The ramifications of changing this verse could be very serious and detrimental. Firstly, people might become less God-fearing because they don't appreciate that he will bring us into trial and put us through some of the worst things imaginable to see how we respond. And those who remain steadfast to the end will be rewarded, as was Jesus. God does have a hand in this, like in the book of Job, where he tests Job by letting Satan have his way with him, afflicting much pain and suffering to see how Job reacts. And let us not forget Revelation 27, where Satan is let loose to tempt and bring man into trial once again. Anyone who truly understands God and how terrifying his trials can be, as do I, and is more God-fearing because of it, knows that this verse does not need changing at all. When I went through hell and back during my second 40 days and 40 nights fast, I, likewise, praised to God never to be put through anything like that ever again. That's how God-fearing I became. And although I was utterly shocked that despite my extreme devotion, he put me through that psychosis nightmare, triggered by fear, depression, bereavement, and the chemical imbalance from lack of food, which made me severely paranoid, I understood him a lot more, just as Jesus and Job did. Unfortunately, the Pope and other Catholic leaders approving this change seem to have a bit of trouble understanding God personally, and spiritual matters are clearly beyond them. Now let's go over the matters pertaining to their intelligence. Leaders not into temptation means keep us away from it, naturally, followed by deliver us from evil, meaning to provide another way. Whereas, do not let us fall into temptation implies that it's already there. 
Satan tempts man, and prayer is the most effective weapon against him. Jesus is praying not to be tempted, and if you pray not to be led into temptation, you are praying for it not to be present. However, do not let us fall into temptation implies what it already is, as if it were unavoidable. And abandon us not when we are in temptation is saying exactly that. It isn't implied at all. Let it not be there. Keep us from it. Not abandon us not when we are already in it. As you can see, it has the complete opposite meaning, and as such, is abomination. This is an abominable change to the Lord's Prayer, contradicting the words of Christ once again, and yet more doctrine of these Catholic demons. Pope Francis, leader of the notorious Roman Catholic Church, isn't praying to be kept from temptation, but to not fall victim of the temptation already present. I wonder why. <laughs> With Jesus' prayer, the temptation will not be presented to us in the first place. However, with Francis's change, it will always be there. And the effects this has on one's soul are devastating. All those who pray the Lord's Prayer following this change will be praying for the wrong thing entirely. Because not only are they no longer praying to be kept from temptation, or trial, as the Greek translation says. But they have already practically acknowledged that they are in it. It's doing the complete opposite of what Jesus was praying for. You imbeciles. Okay, everyone, take a look at this. This was Fox News Channel in 2019. It's the 6th of June 2019, okay, so more recent than what I saw before, 2017. This proposed change to the Lord's Prayer. Now what's interesting is in the same article we have both proposed changes. Okay, so I don't know which one they're going with, the Italians. Most likely this one. But, as I said earlier in this video, uh, this implies that one is already in temptation. Okay. But look at this translation. This isn't implying it at all. It's saying it directly. <laughs> Abandon us not when in temptation. Now, this has the complete opposite meaning uh, to <laughs> the original Lord's Prayer. Okay, Jesus was saying, uh, don't present the temptation in the first place. Deliver us from evil, keep us away from it. Yeah? So... This is saying, when already in temptation, abandon us not. That, that isn't uh, the correct translation at all. It's, it's the opposite. It's abomination, okay? Jesus is saying, keep us away from temptation. This isn't. Okay, this is saying that when we are already in temptation, Abandon us not. And this implies that as well. Do not let us fall into temptation as though it were already present and uh, God should help us not fall victim of it. Okay. <laughs> Complete opposite meaning. On the contrary, lead is the perfect word. So avoid this confusion. He's basically saying, don't take us here in the first place. Keep us away from it. Whereas this is saying the opposite. We're already there. Whoa. This is an abomination. 
is terrible. It's saying direct us away, not be there for us when we're there. <laughs>